Hey guys, how to Min here. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to get the camera, the new camera app that comes with Android 4.3. Also, I'm going to be showing you guys how to get Photosphere on your Android device. You don't have to be rooted, by the way. You can be rooted, non-rooted. Either way, let's begin this video. Alright guys, so let's get right into it. Uh, let me just start off by saying when you install the APK file that I leave for you guys, it's actually going to install the gallery app and the camera app at the same time. Now when you install it, make sure to remove the one that you already have, the gallery app. Make sure you automatically uninstall that. Make a backup of it first, you don't want to lose your camera app. So that way you can actually install this app. If you don't really have root and you can't really do that, then I suggest you uninstall the updates. There's an option for that in the settings. and. Uh, try to see if that actually installs the new gallery and camera app that comes with the new Android 4.3 update. So when you open up the gallery app, it's pretty basic, not much to it. You can see everything else. It's really the same. You don't have any changes at all. So let's just jump right into the camera app. This is what the camera app is. It's really nice and you can see here that it looks the same almost other than the fact that the camera icon right there and this circle option right down there is actually moved more to the center. You have the basic camera option the camera button right there it's really nice and if you uh, go landscape mode it actually stays there as well so not much change there you can see i can actually hold on to it and it's not that circle menu you have anymore you actually have an arc menu so you have the option of not having your thumb cover any of the other options that are included in this application you can see you have more settings uh, going down here you have exposure and you have flashlight mode and you have front facing camera or back facing camera you can go into those options i can actually go in here and it seems smoother than the other application that was on the one before i had this one and if i take a picture you can actually see it goes right there like a little camera app you didn't really have that option before All right, so going back i just want to show you guys you can actually get this photosphere as well i downloaded this on my galaxy note 2 um, it does have 4.2.2, but it did not have Photosphere included in this. So I actually got this application and it does include Photosphere. So if I go up, it actually will work. So let me just check this out. You can see there I can swipe and uh, take pictures all around my area. So that way I can have that 360 view. So I can actually see where I was at at that specific moment all around me. And once I click I'm done, I can actually make it and compress it in there. And it's going to render just like a regular old picture, making that... 360 view like you're standing there in that specific spot just when you were there I didn't really find a bug with this application a panorama view works uh, you can also have it work for your video camera and take pictures as well very smooth the only problem I had with this camera app was that the image quality wasn't as good as the one I had in my camera app that would take pictures in better quality um, the one in the camera built in your phone might have better quality mainly because this is just an application an APK install on your device um, not meant for your device specifically because really you're not supposed to have uh, photosphere or anything but trust me it is free it is legal please don't yell at me or anything it's legal trust me and uh, I'm pretty sure this is gonna work for your Android device please leave a comment tell me if it works or not if it's supported for your device I would like to hear from you guys and give it a thumbs up subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video Kapow!